Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. Things are going good here. We didn't really get much in the way of a storm. We got some pretty cool clouds, lots of wind and rain, but nothing of significance when it came to, you know, any any really flooding or anything like that. So the uh, past couple of mornings, I've just been hanging out with Sierra. We've been having real quiet starts to our day. And what I'll do is I'll get the breakfast going. Won't turn on the internet, won't, won't turn on my phone, just keep it real quiet. We'll just have the bird songs outside going and and uh, just a real peaceful start to the day, which I love. It's, it's really great to get the day started like this with her. And she's been doing really good. We've been taking four or five walks per day, which in the past we were just doing one per day. And so it's just great hey, to see her doing well. Uh, I, I encourage her every time we're out and we're walking around. And it just warms my heart to, to see her running around like this. Running into there, sweetie. You know, I never knew northern Arizona had so much green, especially during the monsoon season. I, you know, you, you kind of think about Arizona and you think about Phoenix, you know, or like the desert areas that are a little bit warmer. The soil is different in that it's not like the Rocky Mountains. It's all volcanic up here because that's how this area was created and this, ra this rise in elevation. But you can get into up to like 10,000, 11,000 feet in some of these areas. And uh, there's ski areas and I mean, there's rivers to fly fish. Just a lot of people don't know about them. So I'm excited. I'm gonna spend this year, this fall with Sierra. Now that she's doing good, I mean, she's running around like crazy, so I'm thrilled about that. And so since she's doing good now, um, we're gonna spend the fall going fly fishing and stuff like that after the monsoons kind of settle down. Cause we go out now, but we would get locked in with the, you know, with the rains and with the, with the mud is and all that stuff with the roads. <clears throat> but once that subsides this fall, we're, we're gonna we're gonna jam. And Sierra continues to impress. I mean. When I changed her medicine from the hi baby girl, from the uh, <laughs> from the granular panicker seed that fen bends it all, it's the same thing. It's just two different names for it. But the but when I switched it from the granular to the the paste, you can get this thing that looks like a big kind of like syringe and it has a dial on the back of it. You can dial it to however however many pounds the animal is, and it's typically for horses because it's a it's a really uh, concentrated dose, but. I started using that for Sierra about a month and a half ago, and she's totally perked back up. So I'm wondering if that has given her some some um, some relief from the from some of the tumors because they were getting pretty big and giving her a lot of pain. And she hasn't been on pain medication now for like three weeks, and she's running around with me like this every day, going on like four or five walks, and uh, really pleased about that because I, I thought a couple couple months ago, about two about a month ago, I thought she was on her way out because she was just really lethargic and. Wouldn't eat, wouldn't get up, wouldn't do anything. And I think what it was is maybe she just had like a bad cold or something like that because she's obviously doing better now. But uh, I'm really thrilled about that because, I mean, you know, I, I only know this life with her. And she's been such a great part of it, you know. And, and there's been days where I haven't felt like going to do anything. And she'd always be like, come on, let's go hiking, you know, and like jumping around camp and everything. I'm like, okay, let's go. I'm starting to get a little more rain. Um, so she really lend, like, she really contributed to like the adventures we went on because she'd always push me, and then I could see how excited she'd get when we'd be out and about, and that make me go further, you know, and, and want to do more. And so we've just had so much fun, and I, I don't want the story to end yet, you know. I mean, no one does with their dog, but it's been tough with her cancer, you know, because I I've put everything on hold here, um, as far as like our adventures and stuff. I put, I've just put it all on hold, you know, and, and it's worth it for her to be having a like a comfortable place to hang out and. You know, there's no stresses out here or anything like that. She can run around. She has a place just all to herself. There's a few other animals around, but nothing major. And I'm always with her, so if there's any mountain lions around or something like that, we'll pretty much spook them away. So we're not, I'm not worried about her safety in that regard. But, you know, I am worried about her cancer. And the main thing is I just don't want her to suffer. And she's tough as nails, so I don't know. She doesn't seem like she's hurting, but, I mean, she probably is a little bit, I would imagine. At least that one in her rear, it's just huge. And so, but she's, she's running around. She, she jumped up into the camp the other day. She hasn't done that in over a year. So she, she got to the camper and usually I, I pick her up and I count to three and then pick her up in the camper and then count to three again, pick her up on the bed. She jumped up in the camper and jumped on the bed, just like days of old. And then she also too, she hasn't been rolling over on her back at all. Um, you know, and putting her legs up in the air and sleeping like that. She hasn't done that in probably a year. And now she's been doing it the past couple of nights and in the past, she used to always sleep like that. So I'm thinking, um, I'm hopeful that this fin bends at all. The, the the paste form is more effective. The granular form, she just didn't seem to like that consistency in her food. 
So that's why we switched to the paste. Oh yeah, girl. Oh, what's up again? <laughs> All right, let's go this way. Let's come back over here. Let's go back home. Come on, girl. Let's go this way. Come on. Not much in the way of, well, actually no, no rain so far here. It is 5 p.m. They said it was going to be hitting about this time. But a bunch of clouds, winds picking up, all that stuff, but no rain. And uh, I'm wondering if it's going to hit or not. Like, it looks like when Hillary hit, hit landfall, really broke up, became a tro tropical storm. And now it's dumping a lot of moisture on Los Angeles. But I don't know if it's going to reach here or not, because it looks like the storm kind of split in two. And the, the splinter that came our way, like, broke up you know, to where it's, there's nothing happening. So we're gonna run to the ridge. I'm gonna take the quad up there. I wanna see if we can see anything off in the distance. Cause like with the, if you look up here with that right there, I can't see past that. And that's where the storms like kind of are, are coming from that direction. But had a pretty productive day though. I, I, I got all my laundry done. Um, I figured I was like, well, as long as it's not raining, I'll, I'll have this out here. And then I got a lot of stuff cleaned up over here. I've got a little trash pile over there, which I need to take care of. But if you see, I've got all this area cleared. I got all, got all the cactus out of here yesterday. Got that all cleaned up, picked up. And I was getting ready to do this yesterday evening when the when the rain hit and get all this cleaned up over here and get that squared away. So that's about all I have to do left. But I got this all cleaned up and organized and so it looks better. And I wanna just go ahead and take this front part off here, especially this top, and take those, those uh, longer, uh, two by fours and stuff like that and have them go this way and see if I can I can kind of recycle them into a roof That one's really shot right there and it's not worth uh, Recycling that one, but the rest of them look okay, and I think I could probably use them um, Got the other quad cleaned up and put in here I'm gonna take that into the shop soon get it cleaned up so I can uh, it just has to get the, the steering fixed and then I'm gonna sell that this one's pretty good It's got some really nice tires on it and then these are like really good traction. And then I've got a winch on the front too. But everything about the quad's nice. It's, it seems like it's got an upgraded uh, engine in it because it's way, it's got much more juice and much more like power to it than my other, my other quad. Uh, but I'll be getting rid of that one though. It's got, it's, it's the utility package, the utility uh, Polaris 570. Um, it's, it's a good one. It works well. That winch is real nice. I can drag trees around all over the place. It's no problem. But got, got a, lot, a lot of this like kind of organized and cleaned up. And so what I can do now is I can, I can pull my quad in through here and go this way and go all the way through the garden and then back out so I can, I can do that. So what, what I want to do next is we're going to clean up all these trees, get this all cleaned up here take this all out so that I've got more of a view through here and then get this all squared away. I want to burn you know, all the paper products, just burn it in the, in the fire in the fire pit and then uh, take the plastic and see if I can get that to a recycling bin. All right, the wind's really starting to pick up now, so let's head up there and see what we got. All right. Uh, one other thing I did too is that I, I put some more base, some more uh, beams on there, and then I screwed them in. So you see, they're kind of all over the place, just to just help secure it, just to make sure. So sure we're gonna get any storms tonight. It doesn't look like much is coming in. And everything's kind of broken up, just like the radar was showing. So who knows if it's actually gonna hit here or not. We might get some rain, but I mean, heck, look this way. It's, it looks like it's clearing up towards, looking towards that cool mountain over there. Let's do this. It's right there. You know, if you're looking towards the south here, it actually looks rather pleasant. It doesn't look like there's anything rolling in. And I was I was looking at the radar before I came up here and there was nothing. So who knows? Maybe the storm just completely broke up and it's not gonna hit here. Which, you know, if it does that, that's fine, but it would kind of be fun to get a good storm. So 
Man, I love how everything is so green now, though. This is the best time of year to be out here. Like all the little patches, you know, they're usually dried up when during dry season, just turn all green during monsoon. It's just awesome out here. Monday, 2 p.m. This is what we got. No rain, no wind, no nothing. So it looks like a little bit of rain over there, but I mean, it's looked like that all day and nothing's come over. What's up, girl? What you doing? And uh, nothing's come over to really hit us with moisture. So I'm thinking the storm is going to pretty much completely miss us. If we get a little bit of rain, it's just it is what it is but you know you look over here right there that's like what's coming and it's all clearing up and everything so i mean maybe we just avoided the storm altogether that's just kind of what i'm thinking but we'll see if anything comes later today i talked to some friends in prescott just now and they haven't got anything you know they had a little bit of rain and that was it so i think the storm didn't hit which is fine with me maybe we can get more stuff done around here so come here punk let's go walk this way what we're gonna do is for the rest of the day i gotta get this cleaned up here and get some of this stuff burned and the plastic all bagged up so I can take to a recycling center. And then uh, probably just get the rest of that squared away. And then we can head into Colorado later this week. Because we're going to go to Colorado, pumpkin. Going to go pick up a new vehicle. No, oh, boy. All right, everybody. That's it for today. Hopefully the storm hits. But if not, you know, that is what it is. We're going to be heading out here in the next couple of days. Going to Colorado to go pick up a rig. And I really can't wait to show it to you all. So um, we'll do a video of uh, traveling to Colorado. And then definitely when we get there, we'll do a live stream with the rig. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you all have a great start to the week. We'll catch you on the next video.